Hi hey everyone, this video is me and Samantha and her mother working out in the barn, redoing the electrical and moving some brooders around to make it more efficient. Not much about farm animals, but it's a lot going on, so uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so this is some of the uh, scary wiring that I'm dealing with in this barn. I mean, some of it, it's okay, but it's, it's patched together very roughly and dangerous at some points, like the box I just sh shown. So I have this piece of wood that is already here. I'm gonna reroute some of the wire. So what I'm doing, this is gonna be a switch right here for, there's no lights underneath this top. So I got a light here, a light there, and a light there. So I'm wiring this switch up to there. This is gonna be two, a double gang box for plugs. Cause it seems like we're always needing more plugs. And then this switch doesn't exist, but I'm having this one, my, my light, this wire that goes out here, goes to my light that's outside the barn and it's just always on. There's no way to switch it on and off. Cause it's a dusted on, but I want to still be able to switch it on and off. That's what this one's for. And that's why it's up tall too, it's up high. Because the reality is probably never gonna be switched off. But if we want to, we can now. So I'm about ready to flip the breaker so I can transfer over what wires I need to from all this crazy mess into here. And then I can finish my hookups and turn the breaker back on. So it's all wired up, done, the breaker's turned on. Got me a four gang. So I got my switch for my floodlight up front. Got me a four gang, out, uh, four outlets. And then I have my switch for my lights underneath. Granted, I don't have any matching bulbs, but those will come tomorrow. But uh, turn the light on. Ding, it is now bright underneath here. Cool. Now I need to do some more cleaning. This is another part of my barn with electrical. So it has a, a main feed. You know, it goes up and around and down to that box right there. So I'm doing rerouting that main feed to this box. That way I can junction box out to however I want to. So what happened? So, I was walking by, and lo and behold, somebody has decided to make this a nesting box. Chickens. Chickens. Could we guess which, which one, judging by the size, they're pretty small. I had to guess, it's gonna be one of our little bantam hens that just started laying. exactly sure where I stopped recording because uh, my battery died but let me show you where I'm at tonight before I stop off so I got my junction box done and I got this going up and around and over for my light and my power <clears throat> and for my light I got a junction box 
that goes to each of my lights. And then I have my power that goes up and around. There's one of my lights. It goes up and down. So I gotta run another wire that goes up and around and start jumping off my switches. That's gonna be an outlet slash junction box. Which then comes up back around and feeds this guy. There's another one on the other side. And then they'll go back around. So it's uh, Friday and we rearranged the brooders to their final destination so I know exactly where to put some boxes. Let me show you what I've done. So so that guy's staying the same. Those three where Hallie's at are staying the same. We moved this one up and we moved them this way. And then we're going to line up those two. Of course, yes, we know they're up level. we got to bring dirt in. And you have these two right here. But now, if anyone's been here before, we actually have a pathway through there. And, as Hallie just demonstrated, we have a pathway through here. So, a lot easier for us to maintain when people come back, back here to get chicks. It's a lot easier to walk around. And especially after you get the lights on, it'll be a lot brighter. Cause it, 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 I don't know if it does really show in the video, but it's dark in here. Um, I mean, you can see, but it's, it's you can't really see details in birds. Let's take them out in sunlight. So I'm hoping the extra lights I'm putting in will help. old and busted and now the new yellow LED hotness hopes you keep the bugs away at night Sunday morning I'm about to go ahead and do the cutover right here so I'm about to turn the breaker on off and uh, finish doing my little wiring and then everything all the electrical I've done is done so I got everything wired up and working but I had to leave this one circuit, which is this plug and it goes to the light off because I need to rewire it. Because when I, I originally wired it up and it kept popping the breaker. As soon as it popped the breaker, pop, pop, pop. I couldn't figure out why. Then I remembered I unhooked this guy from it and he cut whoever it was, cut the ground wire, left it unhooked. You see that brown wire? If I can get the focus. Let's see if I do this. See that brown wire? It's supposed to be white. So whatever it is burnt up, and he just said, well, I'll just cut the ground wire and we'll keep on running with it. So now I gotta replace all that wire and figure out what went wrong. But that's why I'm redoing all the wiring in this barn. Yep. Uh-huh. There you go. Now you gotta pull through all those other rafters behind you. Can you say, wow, how bright it is in here now? The electrical is mostly done. I got about a few more covers. Um, I got to still fix this area right here. But 
yeah it's done and it works so you can see the lights are hooked up to here and I can just flip the switches so I have to unplug and plug as needed I can flip switches and away I go we brought in so far two yards worth of dirt and I don't know if you can see on camera maybe you can here I don't know if you can but we brought three or four inches up we raised the ground three or four inches up I don't know if I can see if you can see how much lower uh, this one is compared to those. So that'll help it. So if it ever does flood back here, the barn shouldn't flood. But yeah, I mean, it looks so much better. I used to have extension cords. You look at previous videos, I extension cords hanging here and extension cords ran in the rafters to get over to here and I had an extension cord hooked up to that it's not working up all up around so now I got more lights and plugs for every brooder with the switch I'm really happy the way this turned out so a lot more work but I'm really happy So that's it for this video guys sorry my hair is all messed up thanks for watching like and subscribe to the video give us a thumbs up we love you and see you next time